In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a software called Site Guru. Site Guru is a smart SEO assistant that helps you get more traffic to your site. You don't need to be tech savvy or an SEO expert. Site Guru will give you all the tips and pointers to help maximize your traffic by telling you what you need to do, by showing you where things are broken or where things need to be improved. It runs weekly audits and gives you a prioritized SEO to-do list. Ultimately, a checklist that tells you what to do. If you have any questions about Site Guru, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a couple of minutes to a few hours, and I'll leave a special URL below, which I will keep updated so you constantly get the best value for Site Guru. Let's head over to my screen and start the Site Guru review. Just before we start, if you are looking for a way to earn five figures a month on YouTube, my brand new MMO Alliance course will teach you exactly how I rank videos number one, how I profit from them and I prove proof of concept with a over-the-shoulder case study where you can literally copy and paste exactly what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and leave a link below for you so you can check that out. Here we are in the dashboard of Site Guru, and once you connect your analytics and search console to it, it will then do an audit of your website and create that SEO to-do list. So for an example, my SEO to-do list is categorized in coloring. So high impact things like improving my meta description and fixing broken links are things that I need to do. And if I click on, let's say, improve meta descriptions, it will list all of the URLs that need improving. It will also give you a SERP preview and even a page report. It goes into detail about the issue with the specific page. For example, again, the meta description, the H1 tag is missing, internal redirects, alt texts for images, etc. As we scroll down, you'll see just how detailed these reports are. On the right, it will show you your KPIs over the past 30 days and then the top keywords. You can go into the keywords further and have a look and it will show you which pages are ranking for which keywords, your impressions, CTR and position. It will say the latest changes that you've done and list them here. And then as you scroll down, it shows you the, the site structure. You can search, filter or even change it to a tree view, which will then show you like this and you can download it in a PNG format which will look like this. You then have further sub navigation like the timeline where you can add annotations with a site, site health over time. Under the content is a breakdown of your content. So it'll tell you issues about the page titles, meta descriptions, headings, and images. Let's have a scroll. And for each one of these, you can, you can also do a page report and a SERP preview. Looking at the meta descriptions, and it also gives you snapshots of everything right here, followed by headings, images, and open graph tags. Under technical, we'll give you more information about what's going on on the back end, the code, the sitemaps, uh, the structural data, etc. Uh, so it will tell you how fast your site, your page speed is, any indexing issues, sitemaps, canocules, structured data, and analytics. And again, you can view the page report and it will tell you what's going on. You can download all of this data, which will look like this. Under the link section is specifically about link. So things like broken link, internal link, internal redirect, and external link. And finally, insights tab. This is to tell you where your visitors are coming from so you can focus on the platforms that work and the content that works rather than guessing. It shows you your search performance over time and your sessions across all channels. Then it specifically talks about keywords and your top keywords followed by traffic sources, top keywords, engagement, content that needs pages, keywords which are at risk and keywords on the rise. Under the sub menu of insights, it gives you further information about your keywords uh, like clicks, impressions, CTR and positions, more information about the pages and the increase in page views and SERP previews, branded and non-branded traffic, content analysis, and it gives just a better overview of what's going on with each page and the content, and then ideas for low hanging fruit and ways you can improve it. If you wanna share a report to share with your colleagues or client, go ahead and click one of these two buttons. So if we click the word Google Docs, it creates a table of contents and then a breakdown of all the information your client or colleagues will want to know about. You can also download it in a CSV format, which will list all the important things on the website as well. You can customize these settings further and display what sort of information you want to show by navigating through settings area. You can add user roles, select which checks you want to do, connect your Google account, add ignored pages and delete the site if you wish. You can add multiple different sites under select websites and then just paste in the URL and add a website. You can customize the scope of the crawl, so crawl only specific folders or just pages. 
and of course you can customize your parameters. Overall, I think Site Guru makes a complicated task into an easy one. It's pretty smooth to use, it's not laggy or slow or iffy in any area, it just works which ultimately is exactly what I want when you're doing tedious SEO tasks. It detects a lot of on-page stuff that's really quite crucial as, and as debatable as this is, 80% of SEO is down to on-page stuff and the remaining 20% is down to off-page. But of course, that is debatable. I do hope you've enjoyed this Site Guru review. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.